Now I'd like to show you how to create some of the basic motifs in twined knitting. First we're going to learn the deep knit and then we'll combine that with a purl, two purls, to make the crook stitch. The deep knit is essentially a knitted stitch with a float in front of it. You would bring a yarn forward, the one that you had used, in the last stitch, knit the stitch with the yarn that's still in back and take the yarn that's in front to the back. So you're just making a knit stitch with a float in front of it. Now sometimes this is used by itself but more often than not it's used in conjunction with uh, crook stitches. So crook stitches can be three stitches wide, five, seven, nine stitches wide wide, but they are only one row high. So I'm going to show how to do that now. So I'm knit, twined knitting and now I would like to make a crook stitch. So I'm going to bring the yarn forward that I had not used before because I'm going to purl with it right away. Now I'm going to leave the yarn in the front and knit with the next stitch with the yarn that's in back and then I'm going to purl the third stitch with the yarn that is still in front and as it goes across that middle stitch that creates the deep knit. Now I'll take my yarn to the back and I'll twine knit a few stitches again and we'll do it one more time, okay? I'm going to bring the yarn forward that I did not use last time and I will purl with the yarn in front, knit with the yarn in back, purl with the yarn in front, take the yarn to the back, and the next knit stitch then would be made of the yarn I had not used in the last stitch. So I like to describe the crook stitch as a smile with two cheeks. That's what it looks like to me. It can make some really beautiful motifs when arranged, stacked, or alternating. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!